Mark's Classic Rock, Q1043. Well, Jill Hennessy is with us here at Q104.3. Good Woo-hoo. morning. Good morning, Jill. Good, Good morning. Good morning, Shelly and Jim and everybody. And we're going to get a, uh, a live performance in a little while here at the Q. But first, it's time to catch up. Oh, yeah. Because it's been a while, and uh, you have a, a series that just got picked up? Yes, on uh, Showtime called with, City on a Hill. With, yeah. with, with Kevin Bacon. Produced by? Um, um, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck. Wow. So what's and, it about? Uh, Is it, it a drama? It's a dark kind of drama, a little comedic edges here and there, but a, a great writer, Chuck McLean, working with Tom Fontana now. And uh, it's pretty gritty, man. It's about a period of time in the 90s in Boston during a big crime wave. And how, uh, boy, uh, this uh, kind of corrupt FBI dude who I'm married to, who is Kevin Bacon, uh, ends up working with a, a big prosecutor from New York. And uh, they sort of form this interesting kind of uh, duo and they end up being very effective working together so uh, it's it's gets pretty wild let's just say that it sounds similar to some real life stuff <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah 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 say it goes a lot of different places sounds similar and, and to when some will real we life see stuff. it I think in the summer. I think that's oh, okay. when it's slated for. Nice. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, you've you've been recurring on Bull? Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, with Michael Weatherly and everybody. Michael the, we- is tell me about Michael Weatherly. Um one of the nicest dudes you will ever meet. I mean, you walk on the set and he's just he's hilarious and he's light and he's making you comfortable and every person on that set though, all the whole cast and the crew. I mean, it was one of the most joyous kind of like relaxed sets I've ever been on. You know, I cried. On the episode where his last episode of, of NCIS. Oh, are you serious? I wish I would have. I would have told him that. I cried. He would have loved, or maybe been Why very sad you to cry? hear that. Why did I cry? Why did I cry? Because it was you sad. loved him. It was sad, and he and it was you know. Well, I, I mean, didn't see it. I well, you know, I I get very involved in my TV shows that I watch. And we love that about you, Jim. Seriously, as actors, that that means a lot to us. So. You know, I mean, his character on NCIS was really, really, very special. Uh, seriously, I'm going to tell because him you he was said a, that. Because he, was a very, because he was a very special agent, not just a special agent. <laughs> you know? Special, special and, agent. And a big yeah. risk, a big risk to go off and do uh, another yeah. series like that mm-hmm. so quickly because often people have a hard time adjusting to a new character right away, especially yeah. when you've yeah. been in one uh, series for so long. But he, boom. Immediate exactly. success. Immediate well, success. He's so beloved. I mean, you know, everybody at CBS loves him. Everybody he's worked with loves him. Uh, and the guy, he's got the goods. You know, he comes and he delivers and he makes everybody feel great on set. So it's kind of a, a triple threat. Well, that's good to know. Oh, yeah. It's good to know that he's a nice guy. Oh, You're going to cry again? No. I'm going to cry. I think I'm going to cry now. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you made me cry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for that. Well, you remember? <laughs> yes, yes, I know. Gosh, you and like my my father and my friends. And then know. and then like an idiot. Did I ever tell you what I did one morning? No. No. It, yes. Well, you, you oh, know because I called me. you. Oh my gosh! Yes, you it's did. It's a Sunday oh, morning. Boy. Right. It's a Sunday morning. I see that an episode of Law and Order, the original Mother series, starring Jill, was going to be on. Okay, because they mix them up, and you know there's different casts, and yeah. so I called. I said, "You've got, to, you've got to turn on the TV. One of your episodes is coming on. It's the episode where they killed her off." Oh, yeah. That and was, did he wake you up for this? Disturbing, actually. <laughs> I, I did, he, well, we were already awake, and we actually, by sheer coincidence, have happened to watching the same, you know, Law and Order, you know, marathon. We, I did not know it was the one where I died, though. That was a little surprising. By the way, how how much in advance do you get notice that you're going to be killed off? Um, not much. <laughs> no, I'm no? Not. like sometimes people get much? no advance. Wow. Um, I I can't even remember what I heard there. I mean, um, I, I think I knew just when we got the script. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So surprise! <laughs> okay, home, here we go. Going through the script. And do they oh, warn you before happening. you read the script, or do they just let you read it and you find out? Sometimes they don't. In my case, yes, but I've heard of other actors who, who literally discovered it as they were reading the script. So. That's mean. Yeah. That's really it's, it's mean. It's a rude awakening. It is. Yeah. Wow. Harsh. <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> wow. It can be a tough life. It's a, it's a hard knock life on set <laughs> in TV and film. It's always good to have Jill Hennessy with us here. Uh, you're going to perform for us in just a little while, but you're going to perform uh, live at a couple of shows in our yes. area. And um, I just wanted to uh, 
figure out exactly where you're going to be and when. So you're going to be tonight at City Vineyard? Tonight at City Vineyard, yes. Pier 26, okay. 8 o'clock. After you finish voting. Yeah, how are you going to look yeah. at the election results? What are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to have uh, friends of mine in the audience who are looking at their iPhones saying, okay, this is what's happening in Florida, this is Georgia, this is blah, blah, blah. So we'll, we'll see what happens. And so you'll give we'll, updates to we'll the audience? We'll try to give updates to the audience. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because it'll, it'll be, still be early though. Because right? you don't want people saying, "Oh, I can't go to the show. I want yeah, to watch TV." I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so so yeah. you know try to you fulfill do? that you on should, stage. You should employ a newscaster. I should. I should. And in between the songs, they can say, "In the Indiana Senate race, <laughs> we have some early results." <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny. It would be funny. It would be funny. That would be great. I wish I could do it as well as you do it, but I, I'll um, have to do my Jill Hennessy best. Uh, doors open at four thirty. Um, now. This is part of the Voices on the Hudson Concert Series presented mm-hmm. by City Winery. Now, I've been at City Winery. I've never been at City Vineyard. But I understand that it's like a, a gorgeous view from there. It's beautiful. It's it's basically like a little glass jewel box on the Hudson River. So you've got, And it's got a great rooftop bar. At this time of year, it's a little chilly. But you've got this gorgeous view of the Hudson and lower Manhattan. And they've got great food. And the staff is so sweet. And it's just a great time because it's very intimate too. So it's comfortable, intimate. The food's great, and uh, it's I, I love it because I feel like I'm performing in my living room. Okay, tickets at CityVineyardNYC.com, and then Thursday. Thursday. My father's place. Yes. In Roslyn. Now this is the new my father's place. The new my father's place. Yeah. Yes, which people have been raving about. It's the same guy running it that ran the old my father's oh. place. Back in the back, back before in the you day. before back. you even <laughs> while you were still living north of the border. But what what awesome history with yeah. this place! Oh yeah. my gosh, yes. Janice Joplin. I yeah. mean, this this place. I, I was throwing this name around, and mm-hmm. people, friends of mine who were from Long Island, were saying, "You got to be kidding! You're playing my father's place." Yeah, my father's. This is a big time thing. I, this, I'm so psyched. This is yeah. big time. <laughs> uh, it's and it's your first time playing this uh, historic club. Now that'll be that's on uh, uh, North Old Northern Boulevard. Yes. In, in Roslyn. But okay. that's Thursday at 8, right? Thursday at 8. The Roslyn Hotel. Okay. <laughs> Thursday at 8 o'clock. And uh, I understand it's beautiful. I've seen pictures of it that people have put on Facebook. Okay. So, tonight, City Vineyard. Uh, and Thursday night, my father's place. And in just a few minutes, here at Q104.3. And uh, we have Jill Hennessy here. And uh, we're going to have a live performance. Why don't you... Introduce everybody, because you're going to have vocal and instrumental accompaniment. Oh, yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, we've got a special band here today in studio. Uh, on uh, the resonator here, we got Robbie Gerso, one of the most amazing guitarists I have ever met and heard. Um, and he's, yeah, he's got his little rezzo here, which is kind of awesome. <laughs> then uh, we have a special vocalist that we brought, uh, Paolo Mastro Pietro. I, some guy I think I'm married to. Yeah, that would be your <laughs> husband. Uh, For how long? Pietro. For, I guess it's 30 30, feels like 30. It feels 20. like almost 30 years. Twenty <laughs> something, 29. Yeah, wow. it's good. Yeah, this August is going to be 30. I think. Wow. What are you going to yes. do to celebrate? That's a big number, Jill. Shelley, that's Paolo. a really good question. You know, I have no We're idea. Here. Yeah, if your listeners have any ideas, please throw them at me. Because man, we are. Uh, wow. I don't know. Maybe we should go to like Italy or Ireland or something. And one of those eye countries. One of those eye countries. It's actually Joe's <laughs> birthday next week. We're going to Puerto Rico this week. Okay, so what are you yeah. going to sing? Uh, so we're going to sing um, actually the two title tracks from both my albums, uh, Ghost in My Head and I Do, because I was I was in a quandary. I couldn't think of what to play because we've played so many things for you guys. And, mm-hmm. you know, a direct love song to Jim would just be too obvious. Oh, and, he would uh, love that now. Come I know, as, as, as would I, but, you know. Palo's here. Yeah. So um, I know. I know. my son, our 10-year-old son, said, why don't you just play Ghost in My Head and I do? I said, Johnny, you're a genius. That's great. Okay. And by the way, we're going to do the uh, two, for, uh, two for Tuesday Twisted Tunes at 810 okay. this morning instead of 740 for the Bob oh. Dylan tickets. You ready? Awesome. Okay. So the first one is going to be Ghost in My Head. Drink your coffee, Robbie. Here we go. Are you going to call us in? One, two. Lights are still on at 4 a.m. 
on the tree in Washington Square And the cold scared the dealers back in their halls Till the sun brings them up for air Bare feet walking boots Two blind pine socks in a silent escape in the dark in a song in my head and my belly filled with lead I go walking down the park Looking for a different something to happen to me snow too sick to let go and not ready for the healing not ready for you to can't feel you at all It was a diamond shop day when they took you away from me All the sad friendly smiles as we walked down the aisle to the place that you never see I thought of goodbyes and turned my eyes to the glare all around me. There I was with your picture in hand underneath a butterfly's wing. Under a butterfly's wing. can't feel you at all It was a diamond sharp day when they took you away in that place that we cannot see All those sad friendly smiles in the sorries for miles under pretty pink butterflies Love live music in the morning. Uh, more with Jill and Robbie and uh, that, that other guy, Paulo. Uh, <laughs> 
coming up and another door song too here at the Q. New York's classic rock. Q1043.